Welcome to the tutorial on a unique staircase generator for Blender. Why is it unique? Unlike typical generators that simply place objects along a curve, this generator analyzes the initial mesh and places steps along the polygons. This allows you to create staircases in a wide variety of shapes and configurations, not just styles, though it offers extensive settings for customizing different components of the staircase. How to install? Download the bundle file and open it. Inside, click Copy Bundle to Asset Library. After copying the file, the assets will be available in the Asset Browser. Using the Staircase Generator. You can transfer a pre-configured setting to your scene and edit it, or copy the modifier to an existing mesh. For example, let's copy the setting to a plane. As you can see, nothing happens initially. The modifier needs polygons with a slope to place the steps. It automatically determines the direction and number of steps based on the slope angle. If the slope is too small, steps won't be placed. You can adjust this setting to set the minimum slope angle for steps to appear. This allows you to combine surfaces with steps. UV coordinates are automatically transferred to the steps. UV coordinates for other components are generated automatically, assuming the texture width is 1 meter. You can scale the texture in the material using the mapping node. The step height is specified here. The modifier automatically calculates the number of steps based on this value. U-shape staircase. This is a standard example of a staircase with a turn. Start with a plane and raise one of its sides. Then extrude a horizontal surface. Add a small face to the side, followed by another face of the same length as the first. Extrude the next section of the staircase upwards and to the side. This small offset ensures the handrails are placed correctly and don't intersect. The minimum distance for handrails can be adjusted here. On the other side, handrails are also removed. You can fix this by moving them further along the width or merging them with other balusters using Edge Slide with Auto Merge enabled. You don't have to make a 90 degree angle. You can create staircases in triangle, hexagon, and other shapes. Wall Adjacent Staircase If the staircase is next to a wall and you need to remove handrails on one side or a specific section, create a vertex group and add the points where you want to remove the handrails. Then copy the vertex group name into this field. Winder Staircase For a more complex example, let's build a winder. Start with a slope plane. Extrude the end of the staircase upwards, then take a point from one side and move it to the corner to create a 45-degree turn. Repeat this for the second section. Adjust the height of the sections as needed. A 180-degree winder consists of two such sections. Circular Staircase Building a circular staircase can be tedious, so I created a modifier to generate the base mesh for you. Once you're satisfied with the result, you can apply this component and add intermediate landings or straight sections to the staircase. Customizing handrails. By default, the cross section of the guardrails is a rectangle of specified width and height. To create a custom cross section, create a curve of the desired shape and select it in this field. 
The curve will be scaled to the size of the original rectangle. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments.